have the baby chicks. Hi, everybody. It's lockdown day. That's right. The day is here for us to set up our eggs in the incubator for the hatching phase. Some people refer to this time in the 21 day cycle as lockdown. Why do you think it's called lockdown? Because they put sponges under the egg? Mm, not quite. It's referred to as lockdown because we're going to set the eggs up, no longer turning them, and not open the incubator until the chicks are born. Yeah. I wonder how big they're going to be, like this big or I this big? I think they're going to be tiny. Like this? Uh, we'll see. Well, I mean, if you see the size of the egg, right? Yeah. So how big could they possibly be when they're born? Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to stop turning our eggs today. How many times have we been turning our eggs on a daily basis? Four. That's right. We're also going to increase the humidity in the incubator. And we're going to do that by adding a little more water than we typically have added throughout the cycle. We're going to take the top tray out of our incubator and then put a non-slip layer on the bottom tray of our oh, incubator. A non-slip layer is a material that you can't slip on. You know how some surfaces are really easy to slip? Like ice. Like ice. And um, ground. Some ground. And that... I keep slipping when I came in last night. Right, like our floor is slippery, that's true. Yeah. Do you know why it's bad if the chicks are born on a slippery surface? They might die. Well, they could get really, really hurt. It's called splayed leg, and if they, their legs are so tiny and weak when they're born, that if they are, aren't walking on something that can keep them steady and non-slip, then they could end up doing a chicken split, and that's called a sprayed leg. Do they have to put a band-aid on, or are they just okay? Well, what could end up happening is that it affects the muscle development in their legs, and they could die from it. That's why it's so important that we put down a non-slip layer, even in the incubator. What do you want to say? We have eight eggs. We do have eight eggs. Do you think all eight of those eggs are going to hatch? Maybe. We hope so, right? Yeah. So we're going to set that up today. We're also going to candle our eggs one more time just to make sure that all eight are still alive. We're also going to mark where the air cell is on the eggs. Why do you think we want to do that? Uh, so we don't die? No, that where the air cell is, that's where they're going to start breaking out. So it's kind of like the bullseye. That's where we should look for like signs. Bullseye. Yes, it, that's where we should look for signs of a chick trying to get out of the shell. The hatching phase is two to three days long. We're going to be in chick watch as soon as we set up the incubator. What do you think about that? Cool. Are you ready to get it set up? Yes. Awesome. We're going to candle our eggs one more time before we lock them down and we are going to mark the air sac on each egg. And if any of our eight eggs does not look viable, it will not go in lockdown. Ready? Yeah. Wait. Okay. Turn the flashlight on. Okay. All right, let's look at this egg. All right, so this one looks good. You can see that the air sac, Jocelyn, you see the air sac at the bottom? Where the light part is yeah. versus the dark part is a baby. That light part is the air sac. So wait, that's where wait, wait, he's wait. gonna come out. Wait, can I tell you something, guys? Yeah. Um, I saw a light on this half, then it like turned brown. Yeah. The baby moved. Cool. All right, let's mark the air sac. All right, our 
our next egg. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Darkness with the really defined air sac at the bottom. So there's a baby chicken, this one. Let's mark the air sac. There it is, you can see the bottom. Oh, perfect. All right, Jocelyn, what do you see? Baby. Yep, there's the baby. You can see the air sac down at the bottom. Baby number three. All right, egg number four. Baby. That's right, that's the baby. Darkness up top, air sac down at the bottom. Baby, baby. number four. Egg number five. Baby. Let's see. Am I right? No. You see the difference in this egg to the other four? Move your hand so our friends can see. What do you see that's different about this egg? Well, it's not as dark, right? This egg unfortunately stopped developing. Why? No reason. We don't know. But there, this egg will not hatch a baby. So egg number five is dead. Thank you. Egg number six. Who's a baby friends? Nope, this one also stopped developing. Oh man, how many do we have? So far we've got four, and we've tested six. We've got two more to test. All right, egg number seven. Mark the air sack. Egg number eight. <gasps> baby! Can I see? Baby, please say baby. Baby, come on! Move! Little baby. Yeah, looks like it. Yes. How many do we have? You tell me. Uh, six. We have two that are not babies, and two, I mean, six that all have babies inside them. That's right. You ready to put them back in the incubator? Yeah. Awesome. So now I'm going to take out this top tray. We are done with it. And then I'm going to take out the bottom tray and use it to trace our non-slip surface. So now I've got my non-slip liner. It is literally shelf liner that I picked up from Moore's Hardware. And I'm going to trace my lower tray on the non-slip surface. And now I'm going to cut out the non-slip material that will go on top of the tray. So before I put the bottom tray into the incubator, I'm going to add water to increase the humidity in the incubator for the next couple of days. Now I'm going to put the bottom tray back in, put our non-slip surface that we cut right on top of it, and you know what? It looks like it needs to be trimmed just a tad. I probably should have done it a little bit smaller than the tray. So I trimmed my non-slip surface, fits perfectly now. And now is the time to put our eggs back in the incubator for lockdown. And we're only going to put in six of our eight eggs because we identified two eggs that stopped developing at some point since we candled them at day 10. Okay. 
And I wanna show you, this is one of our eggs. I circled where the air cell is. This is where I should start to see signs of the chick coming out of the egg. All right, so our six chicks are in there and we are going to close the incubator now. They are officially on lockdown. Hi, my name's Jocelyn. Jocelyn will really close up. We're having some baby chicks. 